Susie. <laughs> that tickles. What's this? A soapbox derby. Working with your hands builds strong character. Ouch. Say, that's gotta hurt. soon, Dad. It's race day. Go! Last time we saw the culmination of Dog Boy and Rondi's disjointed date. The next day at work, things seemed to be back to normal, until Rondi got riled after finding Dog Boy furtively gazing at Cindy, the captivating new waitress. And now, what happens on a beautiful sunny day when you put together a young man, a young woman, and a stick? What do you like to do? For fun? Uh, all kinds of things, I guess. Like what, for example? I like to play catch. Sports? <gasps> Oh, I just love men who take an interest in sport. What? Really? Hold on a second. Here, go ahead, throw it. But why? Come on, just do it. It's fun. Well, okay. <laughs> throw it again. You know something? I just remembered. I got a dentist appointment in a few minutes. Oh, it's been really great. I'll throw it again one more time. No, no, really, I'm late already. Oh, jeepers. What did I do this time? Hey, big boy, get in. Well, where are we going? The Passion Pit. I'm sorry, Vicky, but it said right on the packet that one size fits oh, all. Oh, don't even bother, little fella. What's the matter, dog boy? You're trembling. It's this movie. I guess it's a bit too creepy for me. Oh, calm down, you big wimp. It's only a stupid movie. 
Anyway, I'm the main attraction here tonight. <laughs> That's better. Now, why don't you unbuckle your seatbelt and move a little closer? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I won't bite. What's the matter? I thought you told me you like girls. I like them fine, but I'm not sure if this is the right thing to do. Well, of course it's the right thing to do. Your doggy instincts should tell you that. Come on, Mr. Hot Stuff, let the animal out. That's just what I'm afraid of. I'm always getting into trouble. Oh, you won't get into any trouble with me. Come on. Oh, no, it's that crazy cat. Just ignore it. Dog boy, you're really sweating. If I chase that cat, Ron, you'll think I'm crazy. Don't do it. Oh, I love it when guys growl. Oh, jeez. This time I really muffed it. Randy's probably already gone home. Boy, she's gonna be really mad. That darn cat. All that running around tore me out. Time to hit the sack. I can't sleep. I keep on thinking about girls. No matter how hard I try to make them like me, I always seem to do something wrong. I know none of those rumors about you are true. Really? Jeez, you seem like a really understanding girl. But maybe we can meet up again sometime. That would be nice. Give me a call. Okay. Good night. Good night. What's he doing? Maybe he left something in the car. What's up? Forget something? No, I was just chasing your car. What for? For fun. And then there was Shell. Uh, I didn't know your dad was a postman. But will Dog Boy be able to bury his past by merely burying a few ham bones in his backyard? Hear Dog Boy's howl of humiliation. Be there. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Dr. Zoom Explores and Explains the Forbidden Secrets of the Unknown and the Forbidden. Yes, I am indeed your host and guide, Dr. Zoom. Today, we will examine a most delicious forbidden area, the Smoky Mountain National Atom Bomb Factory. Let's go inside, shall we? Hey, you can't come in here. Ah, here's where they enrich the deadly plutonium. They put it in this thingamajig and make it extra dangerous. And in here, they mix in some secret ingredient. Ah, it's uranium. That's not so very mysterious. And here's a close-up look at the atomic timing device and some top-secret plans for rocket fuel. Don't worry, I'll fax you a copy. And here's where they put the wings on and put the radar in and... Oh, hello. This is the scientist who paints the scary-looking face on the front of the finished bomb. And this is the bathroom where all the atomic scientists all go to the... Whoops, I see, we're just about out of time. So I say goodbye for now. But remember, to always expose, explore, and explain that which is forbidden. <laughs> we take you now to Lakehurst, New Jersey. The ship is riding majestically toward us. It's practically standing still now. They've dropped ropes out of the nose of the ship. The back motors of the ship are just holding it uh, just enough to keep it from... It's into flames. Get this started. Get this started. It's flashing. And it's flashing. It's flashing terrible. Oh, my. Get out of the way, please. It's running and bursting into flames and, and it's falling on the mooring fast. And all the folks between us, this is terrible. This is the worst of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's four or five hundred feet into the sky. It's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now. And the flame is crashing to the ground. Oh, the humanity. Shut up, guy. Well, hello, boys and girls, and welcome to... Today's first contestant is... Second contestant from Horror Hospital. Nurse <laughs> Remember the 
object of the game is to reach Piggy's pen first. Tell them what they can win, Bob. Thanks, Stitch. <laughs> yes, today's contestants can win an intimate evening with Dr. Rex Goodchin, star of the daytime soap, All My Illegitimate Children. <laughs> on my list. Get the hell out! Vegas, America, land of defeat, home of depraved. But I may as well be rolling an angel hog in heaven, because Quill's here somewhere. I saw him in a magazine, and this is where he was, so it must be true. I just wish I had some cash to make my joy complete. I 
know you always got extra ducats to lose on Lotto, Snake Eyes. Give me that sick old loser's dog food money, you rayon-coated pimp. Hey, go ahead and take it, sunshine. Just don't try to relax in this town. You ain't hard to spot. Save it for your screen chest. Taking money from a luckless old addict like that, you ought to be ashamed. Get out of here before I blow a smoky ring in your teeth hole. Gagging in the ecstasy of this neon strip would like to give me a whiplash. Social Security bag for you, Grandpa. Keep it! I always kept an emergency quarter in my shoe, and I just won the jackpot with it. Get me a farm for Santa, eh, Nita? Somebody bring me a Rob Roy and call the escort service! Now that I'm $39 richer, maybe I'll get one of those hotel and pancake breakfast deals. Oh, no. Look at my long-lost son of a bitch in love, all dolled up like Daredevil Elvis. I gotta spring them out of this showbiz life before they turn them into a bugle bead wearing sister. Here I am, a spitting distance from you. Our lives are coming back together in a rare perfect way, like solar eclipse or something. And now for the event we've all been waiting for tonight at Casper's Corn Palace Coliseum, where you are king. Let's hear a big Vegas welcome for the most solid man on wheels. A man whose heartbreaking quest for the woman he loves has led him through a life of death-defying motorcycles. That's me. I'm the woman he's looking for. Yeah, so am I. We ought to have t-shirts made. Roy Dickerson! May we please have complete silence out of respect for lives of these lovely virgins. Brought to you direct from St. Rose of Lima's Immaculate Sisterhood Emporium, where chastity means pleasure. I wonder if Crow's thinking about that mysterious woman he loves and can't find. Better be. Shh, shut up, guy. Sister's all right. He's probably going to sulk back into his dressing room and smash a chair out of sensitive frustration. What an enigma! What does our lovely 44 double E 32 35 Miss Water Slides weekend think about that? Not much, I bet. I sure would like to show her how to use that slingshot she's wearing. Hey, which way to the backstage exit? Follow the line of groupies. Nobody's gonna keep me from crawling. Not now that I'm this close. <laughs> Last week, when I was here, I scored a piece of the bottle he threw at all. Oh my god, I hate you. I know. I sleep with it under my pillow. Oh, out of my way, you nympho trash. Get closer. Stopping in a blinding hurricane set off by two forces of nature exploding in light. Get back, Tramp. He don't want your skanky ass. <laughs> the only thing I got in life right now is my free omelet coupon. So what was he whining about? Hi, honey. These are the friends I told you about. I'm beginning to feel just the slightest bit discouraged for the very first time.
specialist looking for a missing poodle have bitten upon more than they can chew. Now what do we do? What are our options? We can't jump. We'd probably break every bone in our bodies. That's it. I don't have any bones. I can make the jump. I don't see this as much of an improvement. Relax. We don't have to worry about the last few feet. I believe you're right. Very impressive. Looks like we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Don't condemn prisoners get a last request. Well, of course. We're not barbaric. Any last requests? Zovarax, sit. <laughs> get the humor! Where are we going? There. <laughs> I'm sorry your current surroundings aren't more comfortable. Of course, you won't live long enough to worry about that. We can smash out of here any time we want. Oh, yeah? Well, it doesn't matter. Our spaceship is about to take off. And as luck would have it, the three of you are directly underneath the main thrusters. There's no way you could outrun the blast. It'll occur in 30 seconds. 29, 28, 27, 26... 25, 24, 23, 22. Don't you dare miss the Toast Trio, 19, the next episode 18, of The Specialists. 17, it may be a kind of a short episode. In the future of animation, join us on a walk down memory lane all the way back to the finest mid-60s Japanese cartooning. Speed Racer's next. My, hasn't he aged well?